Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we will be learning about Azure policies, especially for the policy configuration uh, from the platform protection topic, but this uh, falls under data protection security also. So here uh, we're going to learn about data sovereignty with Azure policies. So let's understand what is exactly data sovereignty. It's not a big requirement. Um, it's a very common requirement for any of the corporate company where they normally need it is any unique corporate or government standards would uh, call as a data sovereignty and data sovereignty simply means that your data has to be resided within a certain country. Most probably that would be within your country where your corporation or your company exists. So that's called data sovereignty and let's implement this because this policy most of the time you can see within the az500 exam from the microsoft azure portal uh, i have navigated to policy and then from the authoring pane uh, you can go for the definitions and look for the location specific so you have at least three different policies um, for the location specific you see allowed locations this policy or this policy definition what it what it tells is uh, it will restrict the locations of your organization you can specify within this policy definition so let's uh, try to assign this and try to modify uh, according to a simple example or uh, company so let's take a policy so here if i when i click on allow or assign the specific policy I am actually getting here a load location so I can simply uh, give here uh, the scope so for the scope as we know that you know you can specify for the management layer or that's a management group levels or because I do have my management groups all scoped under this so I can select this or you can actually uh, specify your subscription layer so you can choose either one so I would go for my management because my subscription is inside this production IT I'll select that and now exclusions if you have any of the exclusions you can select uh, but we don't have any other exclusions and the next one is the most important one when you click on next it's actually taking to the parameters so let me click on that so within here you need to know select what locations you are allowed or this uh, specific policy will make sure that um, whatever the locations you wanted uh, that only will be allowed let's say I want your specific so I'll simply uh, type as yours so whatever the US locations are there and simply if I type India so I can get it like Central India South India West India so all these locations only allowed I can choose these three of my locations where my company exists example and click on next and that would um, if you are looking for the remediation as we talked in the previous lectures you can even identify and you can create the uh, required uh, remediations but I'm not gonna do this for now I'll just have to demonstrate this for specific to the allowed location so I'm not I don't have any other uh, virtual machines also so I don't want to do it so click on next and review and create this is where I'm gonna uh, review all this information so my allowed list of locations are Central India South India West India so let's click on create so this policy has been created and also it is assigned so if I go back to virtual machines and try to create maybe after 30 minutes because it takes if you see here it takes around 30 minutes and I get an error so this is how you can uh, protect your data or not to go outside of your base locations i hope this lecture is useful for you thank you for watching this